Hello and welcome to CamTrack 64. This is Greg from Camnetics with another unscripted demo. We will be building a simple single dwell cam with uh, that's a, a rise, a fall, and a dwell. So let's get started by inserting a a blank, and in this case it will be a cylinder. And I'm going to change a couple of the parameters. I'll go from 10 inches to 12 inches in diameter. And from 6 to 1.5 inches thick. And the next thing we need to do is add a path. So we'll insert a new path. And we have an option to insert it on the cylinder, the top or the bottom. And we will be working with the top surface. Next thing we need to do is add a couple of more segments. and one more segment and we'll change those parameters we'll go from 0 to 120 and then to 240 and then to 360 and we'll start out at two and a half inches and we'll go to five and I'm going to change this this first motion we want a cycloidal and then harmonic and then harmonic to cycloidal and then the dwell and we'll change this to 2.5 so now we have our cam pretty well laid out okay so let's take a look at the chart and we'll open up the chart window and drag that down to where we can see it so we have showing the displacement velocity acceleration and the jerk and I will change this to pressure angle so you can see we're running about 31 for max pressure angle not bad not bad we have a nice curve for the acceleration velocity looks fine well, let's but I think we can improve that so let's go back to cam tracks I'm gonna switch these to uh, eighth power polynomial rise and an 8th power polynomial fall and then switch back to that that chart window and you see we have a much smoother acceleration curve I'm very happy with that I think we have a valid cam path the pressure angle has dropped ever so slightly but it's in that 30 degree range so I think we're good there so I'll switch back to cam tracks and I do have SolidWorks running in the background so what I'm going to do is build this cam in SolidWorks I'm going to go to the Create CAD now we have a few options here we're just going to use the default where we're just going to create the active cam and the paths and we're just going to create it with a single path only so I'll click the Create in SolidWorks 2010 button and we can watch this happening in SolidWorks. There is our path, our bore, and keyway. And there we have a cam. And it has a single path, so you can use your cam follower mate to it, or the tangent mate, if it's a barrel cam. And you can drive your assembly in SolidWorks. That's really cool. Thank you for listening.